Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a like, comment, sub, and little bell notification. Thanks so much. Enjoy. Thanks to my sponsors and donators. Without your financial support, these videos wouldn't be possible. I really appreciate it, and thank you guys so much. Now enjoy the video, everyone. Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to get a shiny starter every time in black and white versions and black and white versions too. This is a really simplified method of trainer ID abuse, so if you actually want a really in-depth tutorial, I have one already, I'll link that video. Um, this is just going to be for RNG newbies who've never really done it before, but still want to get a shiny starter. And so this process is much more simplified and a little bit different than normal. Um, with that said, you're going to need a few things before this video starts. One, you need to have calibrated your DS and the game. The way you do this is in another video I have, it's a very long, not like very long, but like it probably takes like 30 minutes. Um, I have one for how to do it on the 3DS and one for how to do it on the original DS. Um, so go watch that video as well, link will pop up here and there'll be one uh, in the description as well. So once you've got everything calibrated, uh, what you're going to need to do is reset your game. Uh, and you're going to go to 5th Gen Tools and RNG Reporter, and you're also going to need the tool Eon Timer. So if go to 5th Gen Tools, TID, SID Manipulation. Then you're going to go into, um, you're going to, first of all, you're going to pick the correct game from your calibration list. I have White Fat, which is uh, the eloquent name for my DS Fat plus white version. Then you're going to go into uh, TID RNG, and you're just going to type in anything you want. Any sequence of numbers you want in there, type it out. You're not going to get this ID, um, but just you have to type something there. So change the date. Uh, I'm just going to change it to today's date. It's easier that way. And don't touch any other settings. Then hit Find ID Seeds. Click the Buttons thing, and then scroll down until you find the None section. All right, once you find the None section, just pick the one with a lower you know, time in the seconds. You don't want to go lower than uh, 16 or 15, actually. So um, what you're going to do there is leave it there and uh, go into your DS's Date and Time section and change the date and time. Now my date is correct, but my time is probably not. So, yeah. 7.58. Now you're gonna go into Eon Timer and you're gonna do, let me just add one second here. Then you're gonna start Eon Timer and you're gonna start the clock at the same time. I know I'm going a little fast, but this process is just like really easy. So you just turn the DS on and off, and when Eon Timer hits zero, all you do is boot your game up. I was a little late there, but it's okay. Don't touch any buttons on the DS. Once you hit A to launch your game, touch nothing. You touch no buttons until the Game Freak logo shows up, which is the star thing. And then you can hit A. And now you just go through the intro like normal. Now, the one thing I will suggest is to not take too long naming yourself. So, watch how I go through the intro. Try and keep similar pace to me. The way I scroll the text so fast is I hold B and I hit A. So, there we go. And I'm just going to type my name out. I typed my name really fast, but that's just because I, like, I know what I... <laughs> I name myself Blissey a lot. Um, so... You don't have to be that fast, but just, like, don't be really slow. Like, think to yourself, what, what am I going to name myself before I actually, you know, start this game? The intro is going to play out. I actually love this intro to death. It's so... It's just like... I don't know. It's just pretty. The music is nice. The way it's presented looks nice. Plain, simple text. It's just nice. That's all. That's all I can say. Nothing too fancy, but it's just like, you know, a little charming. <laughs> Enough of my weird review of the intro. Uh, here's obviously where the review gets a little annoy, or the review, the intro gets a little annoying, because you have to mask through your uh, dumb friends' texts. So yeah, I just hold B and hit A. Again, that's the fastest way. All right. So go to go to your ID. So you gotta hit this and then flip it. It's probably not the ID you wanted, which is fine. Um, so what you're going to do is go to the Seed Finder section, hit this and hit Today, so make sure these two dates are the same. Type the ID you got in, so 64086, alright? 
type in the minutes and seconds you were aiming for. So I was doing seven minutes, or uh, the hour and minutes you were aiming for. Uh, so seven hour, 58 minutes. That's what I was doing. You're probably doing something different. You can leave these bottom four things alone and hit find seed hit. Um, so it's going to tell you what time you hit, uh, and it's going to tell you your ID and your secret ID. So now you know your ID and secret ID. If you have more than one result, you will probably never have more than one or two results. So all you got to do is just go up here and save. Um, yeah. All you got to do is go up here and save. But So um, now you know your ID and secret ID. So you can go ahead and enter that in your profile here. Um, I'm actually just not going to change this because it's like a... It's hard to explain. I, I have this like pretty set already. Um, so, just go up to the starter and save in front of it. Write this down and edit it into your profile. I didn't because I'm not going to keep this save file, but don't worry about that. Um, so, once you're saved in front of the Pokemon, you can turn the game off and all that. Okay, so now that we've got our ID figured out and secret ID, all we have to do is go into Time Finder, 5th generation Time Finder and RNG Reporter, and select our profile. Now, make sure the profile has no key presses, uh, and your secret ID and your ID are in there. Then you're going to do uh, drop down the method to PID RNG and drop down the method to gift Pokemon and hit generate. Oh, 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 hold on. Uh oh, uh oh, I wanged it up. You can make sure to check shiny only and then generate. And there'll be a lot less results. There we go. So now from here, you can basically pick whatever nature you want. Um, it's nicer to just do low frames. Uh, 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 we'll go with this naive frame. So right click it, copy to seed board. Well, copy seed to clipboard, excuse me. Then go here into the main window and go down to Gen 5 PID RNG. Select gift Pokemon once again. Paste your seed. Now if you are on black and white 2, make sure to check that. And if you're doing memory link, check that as well. Uh, and then type in your, for some reason the secret ID and ID didn't update. So 64086. Usually that updates automatically. Uh, 26794. 26794. So then hit calculate initial PID RNG frame and hit generate. So, if all goes well, we'll actually just talk to the box and get the shiny. However, I would like to show you one where we can actually RNG the... Um, uh, so we, we actually have to do some frame advances, so... These are all I'm getting real okay with these ones, so let's see here. Are they all going to be like that? I don't think so. I want to... I'm finding one for a different purpose. Alright, perfect. So this is just one advance, that's all I have to do. So, you know, if yours is on the frame and you don't have to advance, it makes it easier, it's fine. So, I just want to show you how to advance. So, all we have to do is go into the... Uh, date and time and set the date and time according to this so 814 2018 and 9 47 59 that's actually way too long of a wait let's go with this one that's the issue with this kind of thing what, hello dang it hold on oh boy We'll find something, don't worry about it. I just don't want to wait 59 seconds for an attempt here. Alright, we'd have to do a few advances, this is fine. So I have to change the date again. <laughs> uh, 8, 9, 18, and 4, 41, 17. Wait, I don't know why I did that. 41, 17. And you just do it like you did last time. There we go. Now remember, there's no key presses, so... Uh, don't hold any buttons. If you actually have a key press, you can hold it, but uh, I just think it's easier to not do key presses. That's just me, though. 
So what we're going to want to do is get from modest to timid. So we're on modest right now. What we're going to do is save. And uh, that'll move us down to here. And uh, you just have to save until you're at your actual frame. It takes a while, but uh, you know what are you going to do? So you go again. And then you go one more time. All right, and then you talk to the box. Pick whichever Pokemon you want, and you should have a shiny, timid starter in my case. It'll be whatever, you know, nature. Whatever nature you are aiming for, personally. You won't know it's shiny until you send it out into battle, but hopefully, you know, you, you got it correct. Okay, so mine's not shiny, so we're going to tackle how to, uh, oops, uh, how to deal with this. Um, so you're going to go into 5th gen tools, go to adjacent seed tool, you're going to change it to, you know, you know, white fat, that's my, my situation here. No key presses. We're going to do the type of RNG, so PID RNG, gift Pokemon, lead abilities none, and hit generate. Uh, I don't know why... Frame is so high. Oh, I didn't. I didn't type into my. You have to adjust the date here as well. So, what what date was I aiming for? Sorry. Eight nine eighteen. So we're gonna be August 9th, eighteen at four forty one seventeen. Generate. All right. So, first thing we're gonna do is get out of these battles to figure out our boy's uh, nature. Because so yeah, I'm just gonna pause it until these battles. All right. Let's check out our Pokemon and see what went wrong. So all you're really concerned with is the nature. So how do I get a gentle nature? Uh, okay, it's none of these. Ah. Uh, it could have been this, but actually there's a fair chance it was that. When you look at it, if you look at the C80 frame, no, because I, I did advances, right? This is the starting frame for C80. Uh, probably not, huh? Let's look for some other gentle natures where they're at. Oh, well, this would be female, wouldn't it? Oh, no, it's not 50, though. Okay, so it looks like... Okay, so I, I actually found exactly what happened. Okay, so that's easy. Oh, no. Oh, no, go back. Oh, I wanged it up. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. All right, so here's what I did. All I did was look for gentle nature, right? Um, I found this gentle nature, which was not right. Um, because I did... If you, if you recall, I did three advances, right? So that, that couldn't have been right. Um, but then I find this gentle... Oh, where are you? So then I find... where I lost it because I, I, I messed with the thing. Ah, so I, I find this... Uh, nope, this is still not it. Hold on. Give me a moment. This gentle... No, wait, yes. Hello. Yeah, so one... Two, three. So I find this gentle nature here, which um, is the correct number of advances. So it's like one, two, three, boom. Uh, but it's one second late, and it's still my correct timer zero. So all that means is an eon timer. If you have this happen to you, just decrease your seconds by one. Um, so I'm just going to go at it again. All you have to do when that happens is just go at it again. 
So all you're looking for is the nature that you actually landed on. And you could also look for if it's male or female. Um, that's also important, as I showed that. Um, so I just have to reset the date and time here, 41, and give it a go. Not too difficult, um, hopefully. There's still a chance I hit my wrong timer zero and all that kind of junk. Alright. Don't touch any buttons. Remember, we have uh, no key presses, so don't touch any buttons until this logo pops up. I'm going to reset this doodad here. And we just have to save three times again. So hopefully we get it. So that's one save. Move to here. Save again. So that's quiet. So if we did this, it would be a quiet one now. <laughs> We're going to go for the timid one, though. Save again. So that's our third save, and now we're on the timid one. So hopefully, when we get into this battle, it will be a timid, shiny starter. Uh, I wish it would really show, but the thing is, it would be like kind of weird if you know one of these could be shiny, like in this picture. Because I don't think it's the sprite. That looks kind of different. It looks like a drawing almost. Although I know that they're shiny like that in uh, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart, Gold, and Soul. Silver. No, I don't know if Diamond, Pearls, and Platinums are shiny, but. Heart Gold and Soul Silver sprites are definitely shiny there. Alright. Yep. Yaga gets yelled at by Charon, and then she does the battle anyway. Alright. So hopefully our little guy is going to be... And I say guy because it should be a male. Uh, <laughs> will be shiny when he pops out of this Pokeball. There you go. Boom. Shiny Oshawa. Uh... I remember looking at it like this. I don't remember it looking like this, but that's fine. Um, and it would be a timid nature if we checked after these battles, which I will do for you. Alright, so here we go. Let's pop this open. Okay, mom. So this should be timid nature. Boom, and there you go. Shiny Oshawa, timid nature. Hope this video was helpful to you all. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions uh, or comments, just leave them down below, and I will do my best to answer everything. I'll see you guys next video and uh, this coming Friday evening for a stream. See you then, guys.